All right, what's up, everybody? You're back with Thor.com. Same date, the time is 1740, and my planet toys are still moving and going. Uh, look at this, Mr. Magic Chem Trailer. It's been a whole sloth of them just flying through. I got some asteroids over my head. Um, there's a planetoid. Hello. See, I can't see that with my own eyes because, like, oh, there it is. This is like freaking huge. No wonder. So, that's a perimeter. It's a smaller one here, but this big one right there. Oh, <clears throat> uh, what else? I know it's one right here. Yeah, that guy. There he is. So, it's one right here. I saw this one fly over. This one. Um, it had one all so in front of it. There's another port. So these things are com com layered up on top of each other. This one, there's a planet. Yep, you see the cloud coming off of it. That's why this chemtrail is flying up under here. He's headed to investigate this one. He just came rolling out. Now, I, I noticed a whole bunch of them. And again, this is going west. The sun is over here behind this building. Everything just stops laterally right here. I'm about to get outside this gate after this guy passes. So let me take a look at around the corner so we can see better. So I need to see exactly what's what. So we'll be back. Oh my freaking God, welcome back. You were with third I came, the time is 1800. I'm still just barely getting off work. Look at this damn big planet. Like I just literally got out of my truck. And see that big fat boy? That's a C5, I think, or C17. That's a world flyer. And he's flying supersonic. See that big wingspan? So he's flying up under this uh, planet. That's the bottom of it. Oh, you can see where the sun is going down. It's lit up on that side and the bottom of it's lit up. And this is the backside of it. Along with a big asteroidal type deal. So that's another, uh, whole another asteroidal deal. And he's flying up under that. I'm telling you, this stuff is like, I don't, I literally just walked out of my truck and just, just jumped off. And that's not only that, uh, see the perimeter of this planet right here? So all this is a perimeter. Warping around the whole damn thing. See how it's all warping around? And he came steaming from the west. So that's the bottom of a planet. I think these, uh, the big ones are compressing. We're all over each other. And he's uh, headed to the dark side of it. So what he's doing is taking a triangulation. Let me see if I can get him any closer. No, that is a B1 Lancer. See the wings swept back? That's a B1 Lancer bomber. And he's flying freaking supersonic. His wings are swept back. This is insane, y'all. It's like the closer these planets get, the more activity goes up, but they're still trying to keep this under wraps from the general population. And if it weren't, if it weren't for people like myself, uh, Planet X Hunter, Wormwood Planet X, Alex, Maria, um, all of Alex's peoples, Atlanta, he says, uh, Maria out in the Philippines. Um, of course, initially Sam Hoffman, who um, wrote the paperwork on all this about these things coming in 10 years ago. Like, I wouldn't know what's going on, but you can see it. You see where this plot side of the planet's lit up. You see the corner, that's land mass. And then it goes into the dark and you see all these Jets just flying across, freaking burning the sky up, and this is over my head. Is uh, the whole planet in the dark? And you see the landscape. Let me brighten it up for y'all. What is that? What the hell is that? Okay, that's a regular. That's another jet. Okay, I see him. That's a regular um, air, Airbus about to land at the airport. I can imagine about you know, imagine what they see up there. I'm still kind of fired up because the old lady tried to play me. She, like, how do you ask me what am I looking at? And then when I take the time to waste my time because I know you're not going to understand it. And I'll tell you, look at that. That's a planet. And then she told me the planet, it was planet Earth. This is all planetoidal terrain right here in o OCG. That's OCG. That's an asteroid. 
the side is lit up the sun is setting in the west over here this is where the sun is you can see it um that's beautiful it's an ocg it looks like the bottom of another planet I'll tell you the truth like a smaller planet um here's another one i'm going to say these are asteroids like chunks of rock floating by the earth in space that's a I wish my phone would stop doing this like I cleaned it so it's not focusing in maybe I'm moving too fast for it or it's too dark it's an asteroid let's see that moon spherical it's a spherical deal that's a spherical deal so it's two moons beside actually three one Two over here, one, two, three, and a small one. Down here, another one, one in the middle. You see uh, a lot of rocks. It's probably millions of debris, of billions, infinity of all this rock. Um, just all all over the place. Look at this. That's the ash. Oh my God, I've seen this one before. I think it's the same one. We're gonna put this thing up on the tripod. We're gonna get some recording in. This is insane. I need to see exactly what I'm dealing with. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. This is gonna be a, a nice lengthy one. This the time is 18.08. So we got a planetoid, a bunch of planetoids right here, and I need to get quick on this because I got one behind me. All right here, asteroids and planetoids. You see them? You can see the body. It's always a spherical deal inhabiting uh, a body. So there's a cluster right here. Actually, that's uh, one, two, uh, yep, two. Damn, that was, look at the craters in there. It looks like a doggy paw. Do you see them? I gotta be quick on this, cause these things are moving fast. There's one right there, asteroid. You can see the lumpy, it looks like a lumpy potato. Um, another one right here. All right, you saw that one. Now this thing around, that's um due west. There's another one right here. Planetoid in this cloudy structure. Another one right here. This whole damn thing is one. Let me back up. And this one right here, this one shows up really well. And it's moving fast. I'm trying to get behind the tree. Let me move. I got my camera on the tripod. See this one? You can see the tail coming from behind. And what I was I saw first saw the OCG. Um, and the OCG ran behind that tree. That's when I said it looked like I saw before. And uh, it was behind this planetoid. And everybody thinks these are clouds. Like this whole, actually this whole damn thing is a planet. So there's a perimeter of it here. It's going behind this building, kind of dipping down. And then this big rock right here it just showed up. God damn it. <laughs> That's all I can say, this one. See that big crap? this one that one over there uh, and this one got a big ass crater in it do you see that crater that's all land mass that's a mountain holy fuck <laughs> that is a freaking mountain oh my god and it looks like a little alien face look at the eye eye nose mouth i would have to flip that upside down this is insane y'all there's another face eye eye mouth nose get my hand out the way that's what's throwing the camera off Trying to do auto focus. Damn, that's a big rock. It looks like a pear. Look how far down it's reaching. Y'all, if that damn thing hit the planet, it would obliterate us. And that's sitting in front of a planet. The planet's here. So you got those small planets sitting in front of a bigger planet. Oh, God. And then you got all this right here. This, this is the ones I was showing you earlier. That's a bigger planet. So the little asteroid's in front of a bigger planet. That's my little asteroid I, 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 I hit you up with. This is the bigger one. And it's all over my head. I feel like this is the end of the freaking world. I ain't never seen nothing this freaking huge. That's land mass. Let me highlight. I know it's not gonna be the end of the world, but damn if it don't feel like it. Sorry for the colorful metaphors, but hey, I can't help it. I'm pretty sure the most religious person 
if they see the end of the world coming, you know what their last words are gonna be? Oh fuck. <laughs> if an asteroid came right out in the sky right now and smashed us, all religious personnel are gonna go, oh fuck. So don't get on me. These are just in passing. This one is beautiful. Cause it's like it was above my head 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, and now that it's punched further out. I can see the whole damn thing. This ain't even depressing, it's just astounding. Oh, this is one big planet with a lot of clusters up under it. This is what my brain can make out. I'm pretty sure it's something different. I feel like it's a whole bigger planet that I can't see above my head. Like this whole deal. I mean, let me rotate my camera around. And I got my camera on highlight just so that y'all can see all this. <laughs> There's a planet right there. I didn't see that one. And people think I'm crazy. Who's crazy, you silly Americans? I'm being brutal on y'all because y'all been really brutal on me for the ones that, that will ask me dumb little questions like, what am I looking at? And then when I explain it to you in all honesty, you play me or you give me a dumb look. Like that can't be real, but I tell you what, that just says you didn't believe in the Bible. Revelations ain't playing. Okay, that's a whole planet. I thought so. It's barely faint. Spherical. Yeah, that's an asteroid moon planet uh, traveling with it. I think this whole thing back here, yes, it's a planet. So you got the side that's lit up. And look at these chemtrails. See? This is a whole planet. These are all a bunch of planets compounded and compressed upon each other, like they're all floating in a tight group. I think this is Nibiru, uh, Satum, Matim, uh, freaking Yuri, Atu, I did say Atu. I think they're all passing by right now. So what I thought I saw earlier was probably his moons earlier this morning. This is worth to get. This is worth to get. I don't mind doing stuff like this. Like I said, I could do this all day and I could chase the stars at night. I don't think I'm from planet Earth, real talk. I'm just here temporarily. I'm just too into this stuff. And it's not a foolish passion. It's just, uh, it started out as fantasy as a child, but once you see things get real at the end of the world, <laughs> then the, your whole perception changes. So I have a the difference between then and now. When I was a child, I chased it with a, a fantasy type of a mind, and that's the asteroid right there below that chemtrailer with a lot of OCG behind it. Or as I call it, ACG, asteroidal. Um, I forgot my words. I think this, I'm so astounded by all this. You got two chemtrailers chasing. And these things just came up out of nowhere. Like, this is a whole planet, y'all. I need to get my GoPro out so I can get this whole thing. That's right. Yeah, hang tight. I'm back. I am not having a good day because my GoPro is completely dead. Frack. <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, decently nice curse word. All right. Look at that planet. Oh, man, this is crazy. That's all right. We got enough. But you can see all this. You'll see all this stuff passing. This is a planetoid. Planet. So everybody's trying to go to Mars, but we got planets passing the Earth. Maybe they're further out. Maybe it's like a whole solar system that's sitting way out, but they're so big that we can still see them, but they're in their cloudy shadow. I don't know how to classify this, and that's ain't saying nothing. Uh, the, the government's not saying anything. Everybody just wants you to worry about COVID, uh, fucking Mars. And it makes me mad because we got these freaking asteroids passing by. It's like somebody coming by you and you ignore them to talk to to have a conversation with a person who is 100 feet away but you got a person that's uh since we're practicing social distancing six feet away 10 feet away 
but you were screaming at a person who's 200 feet away, 100 feet away. That's the way it is with these planets. They're passing by us, and we're worried about Mars. And Mars is a freaking blip in the sky. But we're worried about we're not we're ignoring these planets that are coming by. These ain't clouds. Clouds just don't freaking form up in a spherical deal. Not unless uh, this is some magical crap going on. And again, why there are always chemtrails flying? Spot one right here. Let me see if I can catch him. Where are you? There he is. See the little white line? Chemtrail. We we're trying to have a conversation with Mars, but we got these uh, planets passing by, which should be Nemesis, Nibiru, Matim, Atu, Soru, Yuri, and whatever else, and all these asteroids. Maybe it's the fact that our prophecy is being fulfilled and it's the end of the world for a civilization or, you know, or, or a country that y'all know of, or a lot of countries, and the truth is about to be revealed, so we're ignoring it and trying to go to Mars so we can escape it. But you know what? Mars is irradiated, so you're going to get there and die. And I'm not being funny. Everything happens for a reason. All right. You know what? Uh, whatever. All right, so... <laughs> this so kind of drives me crazy because, like, I'm seeing it. Y'all seeing it. I'm bringing it to you, and people just... Do I look... Other than being crazy, do I look like I'm just, like, out there, like, face out on shrooms and drugs and alcohol? I look tired because I'm got this stuff on my mind. I literally got this stuff the gray in my chin. Recent. Other than family stress and friends, uh, people stress that I don't care too much for. Uh, let me drop this. I jerk this thing all the way up in my excitement. There we go. Let's jerk it down. Bring it down. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it down. So, like I said, that's my wish. And I got a big old planet over my head. You can see it. You can literally see it. You can see the land masses. And people think that, that, that I'm just sitting out here playing. I'm wasting my time. I should be going home, hanging out with my family. I got drinks in the fridge waiting on me. I got uh, projects I need to do. I got things that I just want to relax on. It's cold out here. Y'all hear that shit? Somebody's revving up their little fast car. There he is. Freaking red asshole. This guy deal is, is a very serious deal. I should have higher numbers. More people should be seeing me, but I'm being blocked. I only have 212 uh, subscribers so far. It actually dropped down to 211. So either I'm extremely really boring or uh, everybody's looking for foolishness. So it's cool. Trust me, my feelings ain't hurt. I just want the information to get out. Now, if I'm wrong, I'll shut my whole page down and issue an apology to everybody. But I know I'm right. You don't just fly all these million dollar jets. It takes a couple mil to fly these jets. Fuel, you gotta pay the pilots. Um, supplies, contingencies, backup situations. It all gets packed into a jet, especially on the military level. And you got like seven and 10 and 12 that I can see, probably more all across the United States from west coast to east coast following these planetoids and they're just screaming across the sky trying to distract people every time something pops out they scream across the sky so guess who gets taxed by all of this we do the whole damn freaking united states but we get ignored but you dip into our pockets you dip into my my freaking bank account you'll tax the crap out my check but then there's silence from you so i'm the professional until somebody steps up with a freaking degree in astronomy, astrology, astrophysics, whatever, I'm going to be the freaking professional. And somebody's going to have to come knock on my door and tell me to shut the hell up. Because you ain't saying nothing. You're not saying anything. I'm a lot blunt because I've been to war. I'm not going to sit here and be a cartoon character it's like a lot of these people who are on, the, uh, on YouTube putting their information out there. Um, you know, talking about the sky, they've never been to where I've been. And they, I'm unique, we're all unique, but I'm, I pride myself in being, seriously. Because I know that I'm here for a purpose and I'm getting denied. Just so that the, the false, fake world can keep up their little false narrative. And while we go to Mars, but we got planets passing by us, 
Maybe these planets are further out than Mars. I don't know. But when I see the sun shining on them, and you can see the curvature of them, and they're still sitting over my head, you can still see it. All that. Look at that. A planet landscape. They ain't clouds. Those are not clouds. Not clouds. I'm turning this camera around on my tripod. These are not clouds. Don't get dizzy. And that's the sun back there. So, anyways. You just got so much going on and uh, everybody's just acting like this is like a game. It's the end of the freaking world. Civilization is about to change, y'all. I need y'all to tighten your stuff up. Uh, I don't know how much more clearer I can be. Do I need to sound very educated and enunciate and elaborate on the subject matter to get you all to understand and take myself out of my very ebonic voice and explain myself on an editorial college level for you to freaking understand? No. Alright, I'm out of here. So, uh, please watch, like, subscribe, and share. Please uh, tell your friends to subscribe to me, rather. Uh, and uh, it'd be cool, but it'd be cool if you could just like really accommodate me and um, just really think, uh, understand that what I'm saying is not for fun. But uh, this is serious. This is science to me. Science is good observation. I'm doing science right here. Don't need a degree to have science in this subject matter. All right, third I can. We're out. Peace.